Okay, welcome. Retro PC Durham. Chris here. We're going to uh, do a little quick thrifting here. So we're stopping in at the Talies and Whitby. Might get a little bit of mute action going on when we come in in case there's copyrighted music. But uh, we'll see. As always, the clothing section is always very full in here. Heading all the way to the back to check out to see if there's any computer stuff. Okay, so uh, first look here, we've got a couple of small screens here. We've got an RCA television for $13. It does have a VGA input, so you know, 13 bucks for a screen you could use for your computer. Uh, a couple of PC speaker sets here. These are just regular computer speakers. These are uh, RC LG speakers. Not sure what they're. Oh, yeah, they're regular stereo speakers. You need some speaker wire for those. So let's take a look at the computer stuff. We've got some Sony speakers. We've got a big RCA TV here. This is $35, and this is a TV as well. Probably one of those cases where you'd have something that was low res. Someone's got a, I think a dog in here. Uh, we've got a little HP inkjet printer. Neat little thing. It's Xbox, a uh, Sony Blu-ray player. If you need a Blu-ray player for $8.30, it's not a bad deal actually, if you happen to have a need for a Blu-ray player. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got some more older printers here. We've got a uh, Sony something. I'm not sure. A uh, little PC microphone for $3.30. It's kind of cute. And we've got another keyboard here. USB keyboard for $4.30. So again, it's pretty easy to find some PC peripherals, you know, uh, what sometimes we call e-waste peripherals, but if you don't have one and you need one, you can get one for pretty cheap. Got a GameStop game controller. Okay. Random USB cable for $20, $20 for a USB cable. Set two of two. I guess the, oh, maybe this... I don't know. I don't know what this belongs to, but uh, I'm sure that this alone doesn't cost $20. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see anything else here that really stands out to me uh, today. Uh, some pretty basic deals here. Uh, I didn't look at this keyboard over here. This was another USB keyboard. This is a Dell, and it's $5.30, so $5 keyboard. Again, not great, but if you need one, you need one. All right, let's uh, let's pop out of here and head over to the uh, the Value Village next. Okay, we got uh, Value Village. So let's just uh, head on in. Normally, in the yeah, in the house first section, there's a lot of like telephones and electronics and stuff but as you can see here it's like <laughs> a lot of coffee makers now um, so we do have some interesting things here like a golf uh, bag <laughs> a golf bag phone uh, maybe someone previously subscribed to Sports Illustrated or something some nostalgia uh, computer stuff here uh, what do we got here we've got a one of those 3D goggle uh, things you hook your phone up to, I think, to give you the 3D view. We've got a portable music player of some kind. Yeah, a portable DVD player with LCD display. It's the old travel kit thing, an old Kindle. It's an old, uh, we've got a Staples SPLP 500. Uh, calculator, 
and uh, yeah, the rest of the usual here. So nothing super standout-ish uh, from this section. Um, but the good thing is there's more over in the actual uh, computer electronics section. So let's head over there. here with the lamps and luggage and uh, yeah oh here we go look at you can see there's a great selection here so a bunch of computer monitors 12 13 dollars got keyboards of varying shapes and sizes a little bit pricier ten dollar keyboard eight dollar keyboard so the prices here are a little bit higher than a Tilly's the old computer here we've got a Dell for 20 bucks a Dell Dimension E520 hmm I wonder looking at these caps are not looking terrible um, the drives obviously been pulled but it's a little dirty but uh, this could be a good little PC for somebody, a Dell E520. You get some memory and a hard drive in there, and if it actually still boots and works, 20 bucks is a really good price. So very rare, actually, to have a computer sitting on the shelf here. So I might, uh, I might come back later today um, and, uh, and pick this up or test it out. Bring Maybe I'll come back with some memory dims and see if it actually boots up properly because I think there is a little shelf on the side to plug stuff in. Cool. We've got a uh, Smith Corona XL2800 uh, typewriter. PC speaker set. Six bucks. Six bucks for a set of speakers for your computer if you need them. Lots of other like regular electronics speaker sets and stuff. TVs here. 45 bucks for an old LCD TV. And uh, another set of speakers here. Just don't seem to have a brand on them, but they're. I don't see a price either. I'm not sure how much these are worth. Or maybe oh, maybe this is all one set. Yeah, a set of Altec Lansing speakers for twenty bucks. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. All right, I think that's the, the whole look. Oh, look at this. I like casino arcade machine, 70 bucks. I wonder if some old bar or something shut down and they had to get rid of this guy. That's pretty cool. All right, I think that is uh, about it for the view today. Oh, just one quick pass of the uh, computer games it's almost always console stuff but got lots of cool stuff in here NASCAR oh look at that PC CD-ROM Hobbit game that's terrible <laughs> Jeopardy Wheel of Fortune lots of uh boomer games in here oh look at that math blaster from knowledge adventure super solvers spellbound you remember these guys that's really cool nhl 99 from ea sports it's in the game pretty cool Pretty cool setup here. I rarely see this much in the way of PC game stuff. It's almost always what's on the second shelf here, which is all like just uh, console stuff. And then, uh, yeah, this is all movies and DVDs and stuff. Yeah, so that's our look at the, uh, at the thrifting for uh, this particular trip. Thanks for watching.